Uh, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 29 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. And uh, before we finish this, uh, I figured out what I can do over here to make this thing a little bit better. So I select this bottom engine piece, go to Polygon, select these three, oops, sorry, don't move them, select these three, and these three, inset them a bit, about 0.429, and then bevel on the local normal, you're going to want to bevel them inward a bit, okay, about negative 0.58 and negative 0.26, inset, okay, and bevel, so this time do positive 0.58, okay, uh, select the edges, oops, edges, and give them a small, small chamfer. Okay. Next, uh, build a cylinder right in the middle about radius of about 1.3 make sure it has zero uh, or one height segment and give it seven sides convert to an editable poly, polygons like there, edge, chamfer back up, and then you're just going to want to sink it right in there, and put one there, put one in the middle, one right there, and one right there, okay, and select them all, copy them over here, mirror, okay, and move them over here until they sink right in. Okay, just so we can break that up a bit, I guess. Mm, Alright, let's continue back over here. Get my reference image up. Okay, um, you're going to want to build a cylinder, or sorry, a sphere right in the corner here. Alright, bring these segments down to about 9, make the hemisphere 0.5. Okay, um, yeah, and name that, just name it, uh, Ribbit. Now select the big plate and go to Max Script Run Script Placement Tool. Set select a source and pick distribution 1, pick rivet. Hit place, and place where you want them. Remember they do not have to be even. If you end up with an odd thing, that's almost better. And place one more in there, because you're never going to really see that. But Alright, place them here, here. Placing them. And you don't even have to have the same amount as you have on the top. You just want to get a general outline here. And also, let's place a few right in these corners here just for good measure. We can delete them later if they don't look good there. But there we go. Alright, uh, X out of that. Now that we got those pieces done. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's start with this odd little glyph box, I guess you call it. So just create a box about this big, drag it out, so that, that's about 34 for the length, 17 for the width, 
and about one for the height. Convert to edges of a poly, polygon, select here. Edges, chamfer, get a small chamfer there. Okay. Uh, next, select this polygon and hit tessellate twice. That'll break it up into these kind of square things. Mm, yeah, okay. And actually, no, that's not going to work. Untestate it. We're going to have to. Grab these vertexes here, vertices, and just drag them up a bit. And go to edge, select that edge, and that edge. Connect, you want to connect them twice. And then select the top edge and the bottom edge, and connect that once. Okay. Poly yeah, select all those polygons. And bevel by polygon, bring the height back down and out a bit more so you're going to want about 0.4 for the height and negative 0.21 for the outline amount select like the edges, chamfer, ok actually I'm going to change this to gray for now alright, now that we got those done um, we can go to the vertex mode and just shift them over or down or oops, wherever you want them. in the top view here so we don't mess up our mesh. Just kind of keep it equal right there. Alright. Looks pretty good. Okay, next we're going to want to create a box here. And let's just create some little ruin things, I guess. Create a box, uh, height of 0.278. Convert to editable poly, polygons at the top, edges, chamfer. Give it a little chamfer. Okay. And just copy it a few times, about nine and attach all those copies together. Okay. Go into the vertex mode and just start trying to uh, create designs out of these or something. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just whatever you come up with. If you want to select individual ones, you can just use the element and use the local normal to get them somewhere else. Drag the one down here. Drag that one down there. Okay. Drag it up. That one up. Okay, uh, that'll be it for part 29. I'll see you in part 30.